Hello, this is Dr. E from La Cunetta High School. I will be, this is the first lecture on the population unit, topic number 3.1, specialist versus generalist species. Basically, the learning objective for this unit is to learn the differences between generalist and specialist. And the essential knowledge is that specialists tend to be uh, advantaged and habits tests are constant, while generalists are advantaged when the, the habitats are changing. Can you explain that? So, for example, specialist, if you look there, they have a very, very small niche. They can only live at a specific place, specific climate, and so forth. It makes them more prone to extinction. They have specific food requirements. They, the uh, panda has to have bamboo. No bamboo, no, bamboo, no panda. If the conditions, global climate change, um, three gorgeous dam flooding the bamboo, <coughs> they go extinct. A generalist has a higher range of tolerance. They can handle big changes in global warming. They have a broader niche. They can live in downtown New York, such as the uh, raccoon or the rats. Less chance or out in the middle of the, an island in the middle of the Pacific. They're more likely to be invasive because they can live just about anywhere. They have a broad food requirement, meaning they can eat anything from trash to basically filet mignon. They have a high adaptability, meaning if the conditions change, they're fine with it. Now, let's look at specific things. For example, the specialist has a narrow niche, whereas the <clears throat> journalist has a broad niche. They, the specialist has to live in um, outback of Australia for the uh, um, koala bear. Panda has to live in the bamboo area uh, near Wuhan City in China. The raccoon and rat can live any place. They have to have special needs. The koala has to eat uh, eucalyptus leaves. The panda has to eat um, bamboo. Journalists, again, they can eat anything from trash to filet mignon. They're more likely to become extinct. If something happens to the specialist bamboo eucalyptus due to fire or whatever, Three Mile Gorgeous flooding, they're going to become extinct. They can live any place for the journalist less likely to become extinct. Has a specific set of resources for the spe specialist, whereas the generalist can just can use just about anything. If specialist, if the ch conditions change, they're going to they're not able to adapt very well. Whereas the generalist, if there's a change whatsoever, who cares? They're just going to keep on going. A specialist have an advantage when conditions are constant, whereas the generalist has an advantage when conditions change. So, would you be able to answer, identify one characteristic of specialist species, and explain how that characteristic make them more likely to become extinct than generalist species? Would you be able to do the opposite for a generalist? List one characteristic of a general species. Explain how that characteristic makes it more likely to become, to less likely to become extinct than a specialist. Thank you.